Hello and welcome back to the Steam Shed. This is the very beginning of the Steam Mammoth V8 project. I've collected a few SE3s off eBay and it's looking like I'm going to have to join two bases together and have two boilers. The SE3s are going to be disassembled and the ends of the bases have been cut away ready for joining together. The method I'm using for joining the bases together is called flanging and as you can see there's an indentation running right along and the other base will sit on that flush and I just need a little bit of filler. The machine I'm using is an air flanger primarily using car body works for doing the same thing joining panels together which is a good job for this. The two SE3 bases are now being spot welded together and all that's left to do now is fill the old redundant flyaway holes. I have prepared some patch panels again using a flanger. All that's needed now is to spot weld them together. And it's as easy as that. It's now time to start looking at the design of the engine frames for the V8 engine. And I've decided that if you really leave a little bit off the flange, you can get a nice V that's workable. And then the, both the frames are on the same plane, they're going to sit on this carriage. But I think this carriage is a little heavy actually, I need to thin it out a lot to look at and make it look more attractive. And I've already started on this one, as you can see, I've relieved a quarter of an inch out of it. It looks much better, but it still needs a lot more work yet. To lighten the engine carriages, 42 holes at 10mm diameter were drilled through the aluminium plates and then the aluminium plates were lightened again into an I-beam shape closely resembling a parallel I just happened to have for the milling machine that's what I got the inspiration for and I think it's turned out quite well and as you can see, you can see the operation here on the milling machine now Pieces for the engine carriage are never bolted to a simple jig ready for aluminium welding and we're using Durafix Easy Weld Rods that apparently melt the heat of propane but I'm using map gas just to be sure. frames are attached to the engine carriage. A 6BA tap is selected, same as the original Mamod. The V8 engine carriage now needs mounting to an aluminium plate and as you can see I've slotted it and drilled it for screws to pin the whole lot together. A Mammoth SE2 flywheel and engine frame will form the central flywheel joining the two outside sides of the engine together. All will be explained later. 
<sighs> lots to do. Lots and lots to do. I finished the engine carriage now. It's turned out rather well. Apart from being slightly oversized, bigger than I was expected, because I'm using the SE3 long stroke pistons, it's going to be a bigger model than I first anticipated. But it's turned out well. Jobs to do yet is to paint the carriage and the engine frames, add the piston blocks, pistons, shafts, cranks, flywheels, attach it to the base, uh, rig up the boilers, so not too much to do yet. But I think it's going to look rather good when it's done. I think it's about big enough to power a bloody lawnmower, it's that big. But we'll see. So that was interesting for you. Just completing some major boring shit at the moment. Forming spaces for the exhaust pipe work at a brass sheet. It's coming together well. You can see the spaces, I've done one already. Just keeps everything in order. Anyway, that's part one. Be sure to come back for part two when I get around to it.